Some people would say yes, I would say not necessarily. I think the important part about doing high quality qualitative research is a close analysis of your data, having a code book so that you know what you're coding for and you are coding for that consistently, whether you're one person or 15. Regardless of how many people are on your project, um, you should know what you're coding for and have a definition for that. And different methodologies have different opinions on this. So uh, ethnography says one person is fine, and of course it's going to be subjective. Um, because you know your data, you were on the ground, you have that experience that nobody else has. And then you know, a more positivist approach to research might say that there is a truth, capital T. So keeping in mind where you land and that spectrum is an important part of, um, of judging the quality of qualitative research. It's, it's, a, it's a worthwhile question um, of whether working as a team produces higher quality research. I don't think there's an answer to that. I, I really don't. I think that an individual um, can produce incredibly high quality research, even if that's quote unquote subjective. I espouse the idea that all research is subjective. We're all humans uh, with our own lenses, our own experiences, our own uh, wants and needs in terms of data analysis. How do we want this to look? Analyzing data. We're all, um, regardless of whether you're a scientist in a lab or you're out doing interviews on a corner of the street and then analyzing those data. So we're all people in research. And in my mind, all research is subjective. The most that we can do is acknowledge what those biases might be. So the term from ethnography is reflexive. And another term that we use is considering your own positionality. Uh, how who you are uh, might affect your analysis or interpretation of the data. In my master's work, I uh, interviewed some folks involved with the Madagascar Fauna Group because it was through the Duke Lemur Center here on campus. And we also collected surveys from teachers who had participated in teacher trainings in Madagascar uh, in order to learn how to do environmental education in their classrooms. There were four of us on this project, and only one of us had been to Madagascar. And most of us had been, were born and raised in the US. Um, all of us were female, and most of the teachers were male, and so considering how who we are and uh, what lenses we might bring to these data might affect the analysis uh, of these data is a really important process. Again, whether you're a bench scientist or a social scientist.